What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Kosher Nostra, back with that sneaker unboxing, on feet, and review, of course. Guys, let's check this joint out. It's like that. You're just gonna walk into my room. I hate how you assume. I'll take the pleasure and the pain. Black and red Jordan 1 box always gets everybody hyped. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The colorway is white slash dynamic yellow and black guys in a size 11 guys let's unbox this pair and check these joints out there they are in hand guys the air jordan one first class flight is what this colorway has been dubbed these are somewhat interesting sort of a love it or hate it type of pair to say the least not a whole ton of yellow Jordan 1s in the collection at all, so I really figured I would jump on board with this pair. These things were somewhat tough to get in certain sizes. Of course, some of these bigger sizes, as always is the case with Jordan 1s, are a little bit more feasible getting your hands on them. The resale factor is just not there a lot of times with these bigger pairs, especially with these sort of off-the-wall colorways like these. This colorway is one of those ones that will probably dip down in price going forward and then all of a sudden it's just gonna shoot up as a lot of these Jordan 1s tend to do. Honestly, I don't really know how I feel about this pair. Definitely not my favorite Jordan 1 in the collection. Definitely not even in the category for my favorite Jordan 1, but I will say once I saw some pictures of the yellow laces on these joints, it, it made a little bit more sense to me, and I definitely knew which lace color I was gonna go with on these. The shoe itself is dominated by the color white. It is almost entirely white and really gives off that appearance because guys the accent color is yellow that dynamic yellow as the box stated and yellow in general is just a super light color not a lot of pop from that yellow to the actual white itself. And guys, to really kind of bring my point home, when you look at things like the Nike Air on the tongue of that sneaker, it really, really pops. There's a good deal of color differentiating itself in the actual black lettering of that tag. One note that's kind of cool about this colorway, you've got red stitching all around the outer portions of the tongue, whether it's the front of the tongue or the back of the tongue itself. But the thing that sort of kills it for me with this color colorway is going to be the perforated leather, um, which basically means that this leather has all these teeny tiny little holes that are very, very symmetrical and whatnot, but all the way across the shoe. The only white on this shoe that's not perforated is of course going to be the nylon tongue and then of course that white midsole. Not really 100% sold on that. I think this colorway would have been a million times cleaner if they had just gone with the traditional white tumbled leather all across the sneaker. One thing that I will add that didn't really stand out to me until I had these things in hand. The lateral portion of the sneaker features an all white swoosh, which has a yellow outline to it, while the medial side of the sneaker features an all yellow swoosh. I definitely dig the yellow swoosh a lot more on that medial side because again, guys, it pops a little bit more, which is something that this sneaker is drastically missing. But I will say I do like the contrast on the back of the booty. When you look at how the white lateral swoosh meets the yellow medial swoosh on the booty section. I do like that color blocking and how it sort of differentiates itself and it definitely lends to making the booty look a little bit more doper, at least in my opinion. You of course have this really big bold barcode on the back of this sneaker, which this sneaker was supposed to be sort of a shout out and a nod to uh, the shipping team in Jordan brand doing their thing. And that's why you have sort of some of these different barcodes and labels on the sneaker. You've got a recycled symbol right here on the medial heel portion of the sneaker with a 23 inside. Kind of an interesting accent right there. Not sure if what they're trying to tell you is that this is recycled leather, if that's what they're going for. I'm not really 100%. And then another thing that's really different about this sneaker, on the lateral portion of the sneaker, the Wings logo is white on white. It's really just sort of like a stencil of the Wings logo. It's not actually like ingrained into the leather as we traditionally see. And then as you actually turn to the medial portion of the sneaker, you've got this very very different tag usually on the medial portion there's really nothing there's not a wings logo there so you've just got this plain hit of whatever the color blocking holds right there on this sneaker completely different you've got this little patch that says PRI first class flight again you've got that barcode and then here on the right side which is sort of boxed out you've got an MJ then below it MJ4 and then below that AJ 
1023. The insole of the sneaker is gonna be that dynamic yellow. To me, it almost has a little bit more of a volt appearance to it than the actual dynamic yellow, especially when you sort of push the tongue down and you've got that little patch of the tongue right next to it. The outsole on this sneaker, again, is gonna be all yellow, definitely dope. I'm definitely digging that outsole. They had to hit you with at least a little bit more color blocking on this sneaker to really make it pop and not just have this being an all white perforated leather Jordan 1. And then the last little detail, a very, very miniature tag with Michael Jordan's signature tag sort of hanging up here right by this one lace hole. If it was any bigger, guys, I don't think I would be feeling it. It's small enough. I can rock with it, guys. It really doesn't distract from the rest of the shoe, in my opinion. Guys, right out of the box, you got the white laces on the shoe, and then you've got these yellow laces as well. Definitely gonna throw the yellow laces on these things, but for the sake of the video, I might hit you guys with one-on-one. -on -one just so you guys can take a look and make that decision yourself. What do you guys think of these? Were you copping these? Are you sleeping on these? I definitely get either decision. If you're a Jordan 1 head or a collector, these things might have been a must for you guys. Otherwise, I can definitely see why people would sleep on these. Let me know in the comment section how you guys are feeling. Let's check them out on feet. As always, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for rocking with me. My name is Kosher Nostra. Much love to everybody. Peace.